RuPaul is back, baby. All right, let's get into this shit right now. What up, though? Heist Man the Foe. Talk that talk. Ghetto reviews. I'm here with my motherfucking co host, Charlene the Foe. And we finna talk about this motherfucking RuPaul. What's up, baby? Not much. We've been waiting. On the countdown for RuPaul. Yes, we've been waiting on RuPaul Drag Race to finally come back. Season 12 is here. I am a straight dude who watched um, RuPaul with his wife. I ain't scared to say it. I love this shit. So let's get right into this shit. There's lots of straight guys that love RuPaul with their wife. Maybe. They probably just don't want to admit it. They probably blame it on their wife. I even wore my flower shirt the, for this. Right, what's not the fucking love? I love RuPaul Drag Race. This shit love. dope, man. Season 12 has kicked off and they got a whole slew of new bitches. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't call them bitches. But you know what I mean. Um, Who the first one to walk in, man? What's your shit on? This shit on VH1. We got to plug all that VH1. shit. VH1, RuPaul, Drag Race. Mm-hmm. Um, they back. So let's get right into it. Um, They only put six contestants out this week. Seven. Oh, seven. seven. Mm, I'm fucking up already. Already. Seven contestants there was. The first one was Britta. What you think about Britta? What was your first reaction when you seen so, Britta? My first reaction was I, I thought she was black. Um, turns out she's not. Right. Um, shoot, I don't forgot. I think she's Samoan. I don't know. I forgot. Samoan? No, I think I she did. um. What was she? Filipino? Not Filipino. Anyway, she's not black. Right. Um, Britta. But Britta's kind of like her name, like water. She has no flavor. Uh. But there's nothing wrong with her. I hate, I don't want to hate on her because there's nothing to really hate on. Right. There's just no no intrigue, no flavor, like I said. And she, her shaping's beautiful. Like, her... Britta. Like I thought she was black, too. I yeah, thought she was she black. She was like, uh, Britta just doesn't do it for me. She's just standard drag. Okay. Not nothing wrong with it. Good old standard drag. That's cool. All she's right. Not a winner. She's not a winner. What about the second one? Uh, Nikki Doll. Nikki uh, Doll. That's the, the second one. one that came out. French one. The French one. Uh. Wee oui, wee oui, voo voo. I do like her looks. I do. She's she's not she's not a winner. She's not a winner. You don't think she can win? I don't think she. I, I think she can stay in the race for a while. I'm saying out of these first six seven, do you think any of these is a contender yeah. for winner? I do. All right, we're gonna get to that then. All right, uh, yeah, the, because this is just the first. Yeah, this seven. is the first seven. They got thirteen of them gonna be here. They only put yeah. seven of them out right now. All right, what about the third one? Oh, Widow Von Du. Widow Von Du. Uh, my first impression was she looks like Bobby, like a fat Bobby Brown, <laughs> out of drag, of course. <coughs> um, Widow Von Du. I think I think she's gonna give us a good show this season mm-hmm. because she's abrasive to the other queens. Right. So that's always great when you got one that the other queens don't like. So she might be painted as a, as a villainess, you know, um, of the show this season. She's going to be a good watch. And, and that bitch has got damn joints. Eh. Oh, my fucking God. She contorts herself like a mutant. See, I don't, I don't really like the... Um, I know you don't like her. I like the pretty drag queens, man. If they're going to be a drag queen, they got to be like... Did you see the, the contortion? I seen oh, this, it. She's a big I seen girl, them. too. She remind me of Silky Ganache. And I know, I know. And that's one I cannot, I do not like Silky Ganache for some reason. Leave Silky alone. Silky does look like the Mucan X Man, though. Um, yeah, I don't see Widow winning. Right. But I see Widow sticking around. All right. All right, let's talk about the next one. This one is Jackie Cox. I like Jackie Cox. I like Jackie Cox. She's so. Uh, very 60s, uh, Kim, Kennedy-esque, like Jackie, you know, it's, it's just like her name, Jackie O. Jackie O, Jackie yeah. Kennedy and that's and Her Nassis. style is great. Right. She's very pulled together. Um, very pulled together. She is one to watch. Right, I like this one. Yep, she's great. All right. What about the next one? Um, Heidi in Closet. Heidi in Closet. When I first saw her, I was like, what the whole fuck? Ghetto. That's the one from North Carolina. Oh, yeah, the one from North Carolina. But when you, the more you watch her, the more you fucking fall in love with her. <laughs> What's she that shit did, she did? She did that shit like Jakira. I mean, Shakira did it. Not Jakira. Word <laughs> <Heck, laughs> up to Jakira. No, Shakira. Um, she did the little tongue thing like. Shakira did. 
And she did the um the rooster, the chicken. Oh, she started clucking, y'all. This bitch was clucking. Hey, and she had some moves. And she had some moves. Yes. Oh, nobody wants to see this bitch on the fucking um lip sync for your life. Lip sync for your life. Somebody, if anybody, nobody probably ever hear this, but if anybody hears this, please sponsor this bitch. Please fucking sponsor her. What's her name? Heidi in Closet. Okay. She needs a sponsor for makeup and a sponsor for clothes. She's a broke bitch, but there's something about Damn. her, and I'm in love with her. She's a broke bitch. She's broke. She's a broke bitch. It's okay. I've been a broke bitch before. All I right. I fucking love Heidi. Number six. Number six is Gigi. Gigi. That's the one I like. What? Gigi is killing them with the look. See, she a, she a pretty drag queen. Yes. That's what I root for. I root for the pretty ones. I don't like the ones that look like dudes and Heist shit. I like the pretty bitches. I like the pretty bitches, yes. Heist uh, man the fool. Gigi's my, at, at first glance, um... She won't be having the Gigi helmets. Gigi is, yeah, she had the helmet. Okay. Gigi, at first glance, just off the top of my head, I, I call Gigi the winner. Yeah. Off the top of my head. I'm root, that's what, that's what, um, between her and Heidi, for, like, Heidi she got all the... Yeah. The craziness, but Gigi for us to look. That's what I'm And she showed personality. She's not afraid to be funny. She's right. not afraid to be ugly. Right. But she's got uh, her taste level is elevated. Um, she, when she comes on, the, when she comes out, she's high fashion. Her taste level is very elevated. I I like that, and I that's my call so far as the winner. As, uh-huh. as the show progresses, it, it's subject to change. Right. But. And we get the new bitches too. Yeah, and but I've been pretty good about picking the winner off the first off the first time, off the first episode. This episode is a little different though. It's like a whole season in one episode. Yeah, they did a this, lot. They covered a lot. They did a whole lot. Who else? Number seven was um Crystal Method. Crystal Method. Crystal Meth. It's just hmm. spelled Yeah. Bit. It's method. Yeah, but it's meth. Yeah, it's meth, but it's, it's got a spelled, it's, motherfucker I you know, I watched and listened. We got a Y D on the end. Yes, it doesn't mean it's pronounced the way. Crystal Met is our what did uh, uh We're not gonna argue over this name. We are gonna argue over this. Well, you will be bro- proven <laughs> wrong. Put it in the chat know. if you think her name Crystal Meth or Crystal Method. It's spelled method, mm-hmm. but it's pro- pronounced meth. Wasn't there another drag queen okay, named Crystal well, Meth? You'll you'll be sorely mistaken as usual and you'll see next step. Bitch, what's your name? Put it in the chat Crystal if you watch this. Crystal, <laughs> Crystal Meth. What do you think about Crystal Meth? Ed. Ed. Uh, she's very creative. Ed. You know, I love a creative queen. Right. Uh, oh, she don't want to dress up as the damn. Um, she had that Freddy Krueger look with the hair made out of hair. Yeah. Did, this, who who had on the damn um the devil? That's her. Oh, the tail on I the love devil. A creative queen. The tail. The tail on that devil though. And she seems so humble and sweet. I really like her. She had a fat tail on it. Ice likes the fat tail. I, I like fat asses, but that was a tail. <laughs> and that was, was like a dinosaur tail on that damn she's thing. She's crafty queen. She's creative. She's got a soft, nice personality. Right. Like them the first them the first seven, though. Um, they, oh, they had an eight when Nicki Minaj was on here. Nicki Minaj came out. Oh, I forgot about Nicki That's Minaj. That's right. And the reason I say that is because when I get dressed up, I say RuPaul's Drag Race. So when us girls, uh, biological girls pull it together, we, that's our drag. Right. We're going out. That's our drag too. And um, it came down to who at the end they had um, who was the last two? It was um, Widow Von Du. W- Widow Von Du versus versus Gigi. Gigi and they had the lip sync for their life, but nobody went home today. Um, they lip sync for five thousand dollar cash. Yeah, they, uh, they lip sync for five stacks because they were the best ones of the day. You think they were the best? It was. You know, it was, was kind of hard. I didn't hard like call. Widow. I know you didn't like Widow, but Widow did pull it out. Hmm. I would have put Heidi up against Gigi, though. There's something about Heidi. Yeah. Uh, under that fuck I, can, I can't wait to see her lip say for her life. Her, and Nicki Minaj called her out for that ugly-ass makeup. She looked like her goddamn eyelashes about to fall off. Oh, that makeup she had on? That shit she, she had like, like a... a night <laughs> of hard partying and getting drunk and throwing up and then going to sleep and sleeping on top of your face in the pile of throw up and then you wake up. That Damn. was her runway look. That was her makeup. That shit was looking she's, crazy. She's cute. She's a cute girl. The gap she's got is adorable. She do got a gap. She reminds me of Mayhem Miller. But Mayhem girl, she's not as polished as you. She's not. She's not. Nope. But please help her. Somebody. Somebody help her, man. Please help her. Because she's lovable as shit and talented. She's just a little... 
She's a little backwoods fucking North Carolina girl. Hey, she's from a small town. I'm, I'm, I'm from North Carolina. I'm a country girl. I'm from North Carolina. I'm a country girl. Obviously, as you can tell, my mom accent. She does not. Nobody, I think never. Nobody ever polished that diamond. I gotta see the rest of them though, man. We gotta see some more. I can't um, wait. I was. I, I'm so disappointed. I, I want to see the pretty ones, man. I think one of them gonna be pretty. This one in the blue right here. You can't see this. Um, I'm on my screen right now. And um, I like the pretty ones though, man. They gotta be able to um, really look like a woman. You know, drag race. You gotta have all around. Yeah. You gotta be pretty, talented, funny, charismatic. You have to have that that it factor. Right. Anything I'm else? About this show. Uh, Anything else you want to cover on this? I think there was something else I want to say. You guys, I have notes. Charlene notes. been taking notes. Charlene the, the fuck. The funny thing is, is that we do all this discussion amongst ourselves every episode. Yeah. We've ever watched. I'll be watching this shit. I ain't gonna front. I'll be watching um, RuPaul Drag Race. I ain't want to watch it at first because I'm like, man, come on, man. I ain't watching no RuPaul Drag Race. But then I start watching it. I start seeing the art of it. The, they making themselves up. I love to see the um the dancing mm-hmm. when they when they drag for your what they say dance for your life when RuPaul say that shit and um I like what, I like when they fall off fall right. off like like shit. when they do the backdrop they jump in the air do the split <laughs> they do that shit boy I be rolling every time that's my shit I love that shit man don't come at me um LGBTQRS we community. Love you. We love so you, man. My, my last question is, is, why the fuck were there big glitter cockroaches on the wall during Untucked? I feel like Silky Kanash left her goddamn cockroaches. I don't cockroaches. like Silky, man. Mm. Leave Silky alone. I don't like Silky, man. Silky had a bad attitude and thought she was a shit. So. She did. But she had to have that attitude to make her personality pop. Yeah. So they need some raid or exterminator because she left her fucking roaches. <laughs> We seen the big roaches on Untucked. This was a long episode though. Shit was almost two hours, man. Oh maybe maybe cause they had um I'm so happy it's back home. Maybe they had what you call it at the end of it. That's why it was long. They had Untucked. Untucked. But um ain't nobody go home this week, man. So next week we're gonna get the um other six people. So it's gonna be thirteen total. And um we're gonna do this shit all again next week, man. We gonna This is pure love right here. Like, I love this show. Yep. That's why I'm reviewing it, man, because I love this shit. I couldn't wait for this shit to come out. I'm sitting there like, hey, babe, it's gonna come on. We love it. <laughs> RuPaul, thank you. RuPaul, yeah. Salute to RuPaul and Michelle Visage and the little skinny little dude. What's his name? Carson. Carson. I don't, hey. Sorry, bro. I know your name. Right, anyway, you. fuck with your boy, Heist Man Defoe. Talk that talk. Get her reviews. This is RuPaul Drag Race Review. Me and Charlene Defoe, we're gonna be doing this again all over again next week. Leave in the comment section who you think is the what the upfront winner. Who you think gonna win? Who you think gonna lose? Who you think gonna go home first? Who you think going home first? I hope it's not Heidi. I love her. I don't think it's Heidi. I think it's gonna be Widow Von Du. No, it's not. I think it's gonna be Britta. She's flavored. Britta was very um. Britta's so flavored. Britta was lame. I hate saying that because she seems you know cool. Britta was all right, but she's just, somebody got to do something. Ain't no, ain't no. She's I, like a local drag. I, I ain't see that much personality in here. Like, think about when you had, the, um, what's the list? I did, I did. What about Evie Oddly? Remember that one? Yeah. You remember them had had a personality? Remember, um, the dude with all the fucking, um, sponges and shit? I think it. Uh-huh. Or the one who dressed up in his full makeup, like, monster costumes and shit? Ain't that much personality in this season so was- far. I think that we I haven't them. caught on to their personalities yet. Well, we're going to catch on to them. We'll be watching that, this I shit. I think we saw some great personalities today. I think you just haven't, they haven't endeared themselves to you yet. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready for this shit. You know, you'll, you'll fall in love like like Cameron. And you know how, how Cameron grew on me? With Cameron Michaels? Yes. So I know I all the you. names. <laughs> I fucking love you. It's all right, See, though. this is one of the reasons I feel like <coughs> the ice. He'll watch fucking RuPaul with me. Hey, too. I'm watching this shit with my flower shirt on. I'm going to have this shit on next week, too. He thinks he's pretty, y'all. That's his drag. To, 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 to the moon. Let's get the fuck up out of here, though, man. All Good right. Night. Good night, everybody. We will see you again next week with a new episode of RuPaul Drag Race Season 12 Reviews.